good afternoon today i am going to explain uh, what shift reduce parsing is and then we will solve uh, a question on a particular grammar for shift reduce parsing so what is shift reduce parsing shift reduce parsing is a process of reducing a string to the start symbol of a grammar so basically uh, a string has to be taken and it has to be converted to the start symbol of the grammar that's all we do with uh, shift reduce parsing so shift reducing shift reduce parsing uses a stack to hold the grammar and an input tape to hold the string so there's a string and then we reduce it to the starting symbol so that's what that's what shift reduce parsing is used for shift reduce parsing performs basically two actions shift and reduce and that's why it's known as uh, by the name shift reduce parsing so the shift action the current symbol in the the current symbol in the input string which is red is pushed onto the stack and then at each reduction the symbols will be replaced by their non-terminal uh, corresponding symbols the symbol on the right side of the production and non-terminal is the left side of the production and shift this means involves this involves moving of symbols from input buffer onto the stack reduce if the handle appears on the top of the stack then its reduction is done by using appropriate production rule for example uh, we'll see when we run the code and only if the start symbol is present at the end of the stack then an input buffer is empty then the parsing is uh, called accept and when accept is obtained it means successful parsing is done so we will see how it is performed uh, on the following grammar e gives e plus e e gives e star e e gives e and e gives id and for this we will also take uh, this string for testing whether it satisfies this grammar or not so this is the code that uh, we wrote so here we input the grammar as follows and then we prompt the user to input the string the user inputs the string and this is basically the stack where the user where all the uh, grammar gets stored and then this is the for loop that runs to the entire length of the string which uh, performs checks whether the present gram whether the production rules are being followed so this is the entire function that checks whether the production rules are being followed or not so for the first rule we check if uh, the starting symbol in the stack is either i and the next symbol is i uh, is d which is basically checking for the rule e equals to e gives uh, id the second for this for loop checks the next production rule which is e gives e plus e for this we check if the top of the stack contains e and then the next symbol contains plus and the next symbol after that contains e so if it does then we replace uh, this with the symbol e and then the next to become null uh, in the stack and then we check for the next production rule which gives e uh, in which e gives e star e and then if it, it if it exists then we replace the entire uh, uh, we replace all the three symbols with just a single e and then uh, replace the next two symbols with null in the stack and then we'll do the same for the production rule e gives e so let's execute this and see how it works so it's asking for uh, an input string and here we will give this as the input string so here we see that uh, our shift reduce parser is working perfectly and we also get the start symbol at the end which means that uh, this string is accepted so here first the right left bracket is shifted shifted into the stack and then id shifted and then since there's a match with the production rule it gets reduced to e and then we uh, shifted this symbol uh, which is the star here and then we shifted id and since id is a production rule uh, e to id is a production rule we uh, reduce it to e and then e star e is also a production rule so we reduce it to e again and then we uh, end we put the right bracket uh, which shifts symbols and then this is also a production rule with which we get uh, e uh, just e and then we again uh, input symbols which which is plus and then we again shift id into the stack and then we get id 
which which can be reduced to e because id is a production rule and then e plus e is also one of the production rules as we saw which finally gets reduced to e so we can see that uh, we get the uh, final result at the end which is just the production symbol i mean just the starting symbol at the end of the stack and the input sim and the input string is uh, over so here we can say that uh, accept state has been reached and uh, this is the end of uh, shift parsing for this program. So that's what that's all we have for this video. Thank you.